finally, this July, August, we'll finally have Splatoon 3 in our hands. But what's that? You've, you've run out of things to do in Splatoon 2 while you wait? I can guarantee that no one has told you to do these things that you could do to waste more time till Splatoon 3 rolls around. No one said they'd be fun, though. Number one, while you still have access to maps with water like Camp Sugarfish, finally, you should go fishing. What is a game without a fishing minigame? Throw a couple of bombs into the water and see if you get a bite. If nothing comes up, that's okay. Just do it again and again and again until you don't want to do it anymore and then you can just leave. <laughs> Number two, commit some violence. Send an innocent squid into the abyss to strengthen those core muscles before you go to Splatsville. Duh. Number three, learn to draw. Get an ink brush. Go to recon mode. You can take speed drawing to a whole new level because you only have five minutes on the clock. Better hurry. And of course, there's no undo button when you're drawing with an ink brush. Number four, Round out the number of points you have on some of your weapons to feel awesome. Look at this squid. With their points uh, not rounded, so terrible to look at. You're really going to leave it like that when you go off to Splatoon 3? No. No, you won't. Huh? You need more things related to numbers? Okay. N number five. Teach yourself to count by seeing how many splash walls it'll take to fully convert a splat zone. Watch. Let's do this like a children's show. All right, kids. How many splash walls is it going to take to cover this flat zone? One. Two. <laughs> Seven. Fourteen. Oh, I'm kind of went in the same place. Fifteen. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. 26, 37, no, 40, ooh, ooh, place your bets more or less than 50, 46, oh, am I gonna run out of time, <laughs> 50, the big 5-0, 51, 52, please, 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 53, 57, 58, 59, oh god, 60, 61, 62, ah! Hey kids, how many splash walls is it going to take to cover this zone? Let's find out. And I immediately shot the zone. Take two. One splash wall. Add a little bit of paint over here to heal real quick. Two splash walls. Three splash walls. Four splash walls. 39. 40. I'm going to lose my mind. 41. 63. Please, this zone is so purple. 64. 65. 66. 67, 68, 69, oh, oh no, oh no, <laughs> we did it! Number six, make wild animalistic noises outside of Grizzco when it's closed to pretend you're close to the inevitable salmon arc in Splatoon 3. It's right there, it could, it could be right there, it could, Number seven, play squid beats, but only use one button. Find out which song you can still get the most points on. Whoa, 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 I guess I picked the right button in the end. Whoa. Number eight, get out a timer and see just how long it takes to run from one side of the map to the other and then back. If you're really interested, try using different levels of run speed to see how much of a difference it makes. That pure run speed you got back in 2018, it's now finally gonna be useful. Number nine, try to walk from one side of the plaza to the other while activating as few of the plaza posts as possible. 
Here's my attempt. I know going to the right is definitely a no-go, but I think going this way, I'm gonna hit the person that's right at the sign over there. But if I could just get them, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I can't. I can't go in the middle. Can't go in the middle. I don't. I don't want to see them. I don't want to see them. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here's the trick. We're gonna try and loop around without activating the post right over there. Uh, ah. <laughs> All right. No, there's two. No, uh, uh, just the three, just three. Ah, okay, four. Wait, well, let's let's try it. Let's try it one more time. I'm gonna avoid you by turning my camera all the way over here. I'm just gonna keep it keep it on the side. Does that work? Oh, the one. Ah, oh, you, you, you. Still gotta get. Uh, we still gotta get to the other side though. Okay. So what if we try? No, two, two. Okay, you know what? That actually worked better. We take two. I'm not counting that. Two. Number 10. Need to zone out for a bit? Anchovy Games has your back. Just walk up to one of those silly little fans and get lost in a never-ending trance, watching the fans spin round and round and round and round, and just in case they take it away in Splatoon 3, go talk to Judd over and over again and listen to his silly little meow noises for a few minutes to get it really in your head. Doing all these things will help keep Splatoon 2 fresh in your mind for years to come, even after we all run away to Splatoon 3. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to get more of these very real, very helpful, very definitely not April Foolsy tricks to get you more playtime hours in Splatoon 2. Vicvion, signing out. Bye!